Hi, I'm Preston DeGuys, and in this video, I'm going to take you through the process for upgrading a PowerProtect Data Manager server. You'll see in this video an upgrade from 19.3 to 19.4, but the process is very similar for other PPDM versions as well. Start by logging in to your PPDM server. To start the upgrade process, navigate to the gear menu at the top of the interface and select Upgrade. The upgrade wizard starts and shows you the current version of PPDM. I've already downloaded the upgrade package from support.emc.com, so I can click on the Upload Package button to transfer the upgrade to the PPDM server. Note that your browser will need to support large uploads here. For instance, I'm using Chrome instead of Firefox for the upgrade process. The upgrade package has all the software required, far more than just the PPDM server software. It also includes the vProxy OVA, the Search OVA, and the various software packages, so it will take a few minutes to transfer to the PPDM server, depending on your network speed. I'll speed up some of the processes, like the upload, for the video. Now that the upload has completed, PPDM will spend a few minutes unpacking the archive and verifying that the individual packages it contained are all OK. Once the upgrade packages have been verified, the upgrade button will be shown and we can get the process underway by clicking it. You'll see here that PPDM warns you of the need for a valid VM snapshot before starting. If you're running PPDM on a vCenter it's already been integrated with, it'll helpfully run that snapshot process for you though as part of the upgrade. Enter your lockbox password once you've clicked the upgrade button and then click continue. You're now prompted to give the final go ahead for the PPDM upgrade. You are warned that the upgrade is disruptive and while PPDM does redirect you to the upgrade monitor, it gives you the link to the monitor as well. You can either copy the link or note the port number in case you need to manually go back to the upgrade monitor later. When you're ready to proceed, click yes. The upgrade process now initiates and your browser is redirected to the upgrade monitor. The PPDM upgrade monitor gives you rolling updates on the upgrade status and the estimated completion time. Now there's a lot of work going on in the background. The appliance runs security and software updates before moving on to other PPDM software components such as the agents and the OVAs. The speed of the upgrade will depend on the performance of your vCenter environment. Since I'm just using a home lab, I'll speed things up a bit for the video. One of the first steps in the upgrade is taking an appliance backup. This is where PPDM organises a VM snapshot to be taken of itself in case a rollback is required.
Once that snapshot is complete, PPDM stops its internal processes and switches into full upgrade mode. You'll note at that point an option appears at the bottom of the screen to abort the upgrade and roll back, should you need it. The next step is to install the security update to PPDM. Next, PPDM internal packages are upgraded. With those packages upgraded, PPDM activates the new services and performs any server data validation and migration that it requires. Now that its core services have been upgraded, PPDM can move on to upgrading other services and components. The additional service upgrades will include subcomponents such as the vProxy, Search, and Cloud DR appliance. In this demo, you'll see the vProxy and Search appliances upgrade as Cloud DR has not been activated. You'll see the upgrade started in parallel. The vProxy upgrade is started first. Then, while it's running, the Search appliance upgrade is also initiated. This speeds up the overall upgrade process in a production environment. At this point, the vProxy upgrade has completed, and we're now just waiting for the search appliance upgrade to finish before we move on. With the search upgrade finished, our PPDM upgrade has also concluded and we're now redirected back to the login page. Once the login screen appears, you can access the PPDM server using your standard credentials. Note that on the first login after an upgrade, the dashboard widgets can take a little longer to update themselves, but all of your configuration and data is still there, so don't be concerned if it initially shows you've got no job details. It'll update in a few seconds. And so that's a demonstration of the upgrade process for PPDM. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to check out the blog for more details.